That is what you're gonna see, so stay tuned. Little Luigi, um, Little Luigi, no, frick, what was it? All right, Little Luigi here. Welcome to the semi-finale of Item Feed Season 2. Today, our amazing ghosts have left some things behind for us. McCownick has left a eulogy, and it reads, Well, this is quite the experience while it lasted. I thought the battle between myself and Yoshi Awesome would have been a lot closer than it ended up being, but items ended up being a massive roadblock. I feel like I could have survived if it wasn't for Yoshi's flowers and Koopa 472's page. But then again, my opinion does not line up well with the general voters' consensus. I had some fun with this competition, but not as much as I would have liked. I'd like to post a full assessment of what I felt about the competition, but if I do, I'll probably just share it privately with little Luigi. I'll continue to vote, I'll make an item to add to this competition, and I might make some more statistics. But if there's a third season, I'm not entirely sure if I'll join it. Depends on how I feel. That's all I have to say for now. I'll continue to chat in this server, but I probably won't be as active as I was before. Thanks, Nekanik. They also left us this item. Bluff. When obtained, you'll choose an item to disguise it as. It'll look like that item in your inventory. Use it to remove the item from your inventory. Thanks for those amazing charts you made us too, Nekanik. Angel also has a eulogy for us that says, Worth it. Using items is fun, though I didn't expect so much to backfire these last few rounds. My only regret is how much it affected my team. Anyway, how did Among Us sneakers not get spun on that wheel? SMH rigged. They also left us the item. Halo Saving Grace gives you a 6% boost if your submission would place in the red zone without items. Thanks, Angel. Turns out, Ice Cream also has sent us a eulogy that says, It's insane that it got such a spotlight like how I essentially killed rainbows at round 13, or my soda submission at round 7. It was quite the stressful and bumpy road, and I can't help but feel like I was carried by Purple Team, Mola, Max Vector, Lees, and my teammates at Cloud Gang, even with all the bad things. I'm really thankful for being in this competition made by the wonderful Luigi and all of the wonderful competitors I met this season. Best of luck to Yoshi Awesome and Amazing Pikachu 37. I'm rooting for both of you. Bye, have a great day, and watch out for the Luigi up. Um. Ice Cream also drew us this picture of them rethinking their life decisions in an abandoned house. Thanks so much for all the fan art you've given us, Ice Cream. Apparently though, Squish has been hiding in your fan arts. Look, they're in this one, and they're also even in this one. Watch your back, Ice Cream. Anyways, each Liam and contestant will receive one of these new ghost items in their inventory after this round. By the way, Let Create gave us an update to the amazing contestant performance chart. Who do you think is gonna make it? It's amazing all the stuff the dad. It's amazing all the stuff that the dead can give to us, even while they're not alive. <laughs> okay, now that we're done talking about those nerds, let's see what the super cool living players did. They named their teams, of course. Brayden named their team CCB Uwu and made their icon this. Pikachu decided to keep their high letter yellow name and is using this as their icon. Unfortunately, they didn't use their big chunk of chunk drawing they sent in the fan art channel. But I can deal with it. Now, Yoshi was out of ideas and named their team, hmm. They gave themselves this awesome icon. Now, you dead people might be thinking, but what about my ideas? You guys were actually choosing your own team name and icon ideas, not the live people's teams. The team name that got the most votes was... Hey LL, you forgot to lock the channels. And your icon is this. So good luck to the dead team. Results! For results this episode, I'll show the team scores first, since the team scores are just the percentile each contestant got, and it's much more cooler and suspenseful that way. And I'll tell you the item usage later to make things even more suspenseful. Suspenseful. God, God, okay. I'll just let Percy do it for me. Let me take it from here, LL. Hello, viewers, it is I, Percival Von Dragon, coming to you live and barely alive in Comet Sanctuary. Let's get into the results. If you forgot, green is Chain Chomp Brayton, the winner of season one. Yellow is Amazing Pikachu. Thanks to my Percy sources, I can confirm he is actually amazing. And orange is Yoshi Awesome, whom I can also confirm, thanks again to my Percy sources, that he is indeed awesome. Also, expect a red line to come down. That's the dead team. Without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> The Mario mount used a shield and then tipped over the LL brand oil tanker to make oil spill on everyone. The electric mouse Pokemon has some crazy item shenanigans. He used a flower, then he used the almighty power of the infinity bucket to clone the flower. ANOTHER INFINITY BUCKET! ANOTHER FLOWER! He also Volt Tackled into an Acne Crate to use Double Down. That's not 
forget, all boost penalties are already doubled. Whoa, how did they get so high? They broke the chart. That was an amazing recovery. It was genius. I can't believe it. The hmm team. Yoshi has gotten the lowest percentile and lost their only life. The electric mouse saved themselves with their flower shenanigans, causing the island dweller to remain at the bottom. This means, tragically, that Yoshi is eliminated from Item Feud Season 2 at third place. Wait, I just got word, however, that since he did so well, they'll get 25 Little Luigi points! How generous of Little Luigi! You've done a great job, Yoshi, and you deserve to be proud of yourself. I, Percival Von Dragon, congratulate you. So here's the rest of the results. <laughs> Mold of the Ghost carries a dead team doing better than all the contestants if you don't count items. Yoshi also used the page to make another submission and used meme to make a nonsense submission. Yoshi's page about making their boss overeat and then posting embarrassing things online was the least controversial. Yet it was in the middle. As you can see, Minute 25 the viewer who we've never seen before got the most controversial submission. Their idea was to... Um... Wait... Minute 25. Uh, anyways, uh, Pikachu used Shadow Clone twice on Britain to get a copy of all of the items they used, as if they would use items. They forced Britain to use no new items pensive to get them a canvas, so that was nice of Pikachu. Finally, Pikachu and Yoshi both group battled everyone for their items. Pikachu won and Yoshi lost. Yoshi, don't forget to send over a eulogy and come up with an item to give to the finalists. Here, Percy, come back. I can't get rid of the these glitches. It's all down to the electric mouse and the Mario enemy on a chain with a name. Did Pikachu use their items too quickly? Will the ball and chain actually use items? Who do you think is gonna make it? I, Chris Von Dragon, have been authorized to offer a little Luigi point if you post correctly in the comments. Don't forget, the item boosts and penalties are still doubled up for the final item feud prompt. Before I tell you about it, I just want to say, you've all been absolutely fantastic. This show, this game, you people, all of it, absolutely fantastic. You know what? So was I. You've accidentally cloned yourself, and now the clone of yourself is attacking you. How would you defend against your own clone? Thanks, Percy. Make sure you think real hard about this prompt. Give me some amazing ways to defend against my- your cl your clone. You can even give me an answer if you're not alive, so send them over to Spaghetti Luigi. Uh, answer the prompt. Thanks, Angel! Corvix, Omelette, Brizzlebrip, and Percy for supporting me on Patreon.